Welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 7, Episode 18. Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today we're going to pick up where we left off last time. Uh, we had just completed the Temple of Ba here in Avli, and now the only thing left for us to take care of here is to head to the Titan's Lair. So, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a, it's a big old honkin' citadel filled with titans and dragons. Uh, it's one of the most dangerous dungeons in the game, but I think that it also has the best loot, so it's the Titan's strong point. So let's just head in here. Uh, all of our buffs are up, and we should be good to go. So looking at our stats, we're going to be hitting for a ton of damage, but uh, Titans have a tendency to just outright kill people. So I do wish that we had the Raise Dead spell. Got it. But, as you can see, lots of gold coming out of here. So, this is weak. And also good loot. So, yeah, nothing no impo nothing important out of that. But um, overall, good stuff. Now, one strategy that we're going to use here is the Lloyd's Beacon spell. We are going to lay down a Lloyd's Beacon um, pretty often. So I'm going to go ahead and just set one now. So when we get into trouble, we are going to town portal out of the area, back home to Harmondale, heal up at the church, and then we're going to Lloyd's Beacon right back in. So let's get started. Okay, not, not so bad. Let me just see if anybody had any broken gear. Nope. So, looting, we're uh, getting some decent stuff. I mean, it's powerful enchantments on the stuff that's coming from the Blood Titans. But nothing usable there. Also, paying attention to the damage amounts that we were doing, uh, it looks like these have some pretty high AC. Ring of Charm, not, uh, oops, looks like he's out of ring slots. Okay, now here we, uh, had an outright death spell hit us, so I'm gonna drop another beacon right here. And then I'm going to town portal my way out of here. Yeah, I really wish that I had the raised dead spell. Okay, all of our buffs are still in good condition, so I'm just going to Lloyd Beacon my way back into the stronghold then. And give that another go. That's the problem with fighting an enemy that can just point at you and say die. Hmm. Here we've got a room filled with a couple of dragons. Would have been hard earlier in the game, but at this point uh, we can kind of push these over. And luckily dragons can't just outright kill you. So that red dragon there was the equivalent of the dragon that we fought in the very first episode. So we've we've come a long way since the days of having to dodge its attacks. Oh, relic off of that one. Anything good? This is more like it. Nope. It might be useful. If we had a it might if we had a cleric, it might have been useful, but um, nothing, nothing important. Rubbish. Come see. Ah. Actually, 
Actually, it looks like somebody's bow is broken. There's no room. Fixed. Where no room. Still not coming across anything that I can't fix yet, so no real need to take repair item up to Grandmaster. Ow. Ow. I can't believe it. It might be useful. Yeah, that that's useful. Go ahead. Hmm. Put that on her. We still have a few people without amulets, I think, so might as well equip that. This is weak. Ow! 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 I feel like I missed a, missed a room. I could have sworn that I saw a few dragons off in the distance a minute ago. Ooh, that... That could have been better. Okay, that is a little bit problematic. I should have run a little bit earlier than I did. Um, hmm. Now we're going to have to make our way out of here manually. And, uh... Shouldn't be a problem, but without flight, the walk back to town is going to be just the slightest bit problematic. Luckily, having the wizard die doesn't negate all of our buffs. Man, if we just had the raise dead spell, I would be fine to continue on. Or, if the sorcerer was still alive, I would have cast Divine Intervention, which so would have solved all the problems. But um, I was just a, a little bit too slow for that. Okay, let's uh, see. I, I've never left here on foot before, so this should be a bit of an experience. Yeah, that didn't seem so bad. As I said, one of the more dangerous dungeons in the game. Now, if we did have a cleric, um, he would have... Let's see, what's the spell called? Protection from magic at the Grandmaster level, which would solve this outright death problem that we're having. So, protection from magic protects against uh, various status ailments, poison, disease, stone, paralyzed, and weakness. At the Grandmaster level, it also protects against death and eradication. Um, so that is what's happening to us right now, so, oh well, the paladin at least is doing pretty good damage. Okay, let's go ahead and Lloyd begin back in again. Looks like Torchlight did go out, so restore that. And there's the room of dragons that I was talking about before. So that Blood Titan is considerably more dangerous than dragons are, so probably should have focused on it from the beginning. Alright, 
nothing, nothing we can't handle. We'll find a use for this. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that dagger of thunderbolts instead of the dagger of infernos, since uh, fewer things will resist thunderbolts. Mm. Although, actually, in this dungeon, that's not the case, as I believe that Titans are immune to air damage. Got it. This is weak. Lots of take money yours. and valuable loot, so happy no to take as much Rubbish. of this as I can carry with Nothing. me. No room. No room. This is weak. Where will I put that? I think I got it. This is weak. Hmm. That, uh, would be nice, but I already have better, so just a sellable item Figures. at this point. Figures. Like this'll help. So let's see, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and see what's in this little area here, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Like a chest. Got it. Which has the quest objective in it. There's no okay. room. There's no room. Where will There's I no that? room. Hmm. Well, there's, no room. there's always room. No room. No room. There's no room. There's no room. We'll just have to drop it a few might be useful. items around here. No space. There's no room. No space. There's no room. Well, I think this is the time where we're finally going to get rid of all these scrolls that I'm keeping. Wish there was a quicker way to get items out of the inventory, but it is what it is. There's no room, no space. Okay. One more box there, or two. Okay, next time we run out of space, I will just lay down Void's Beacon, head back to town, sell, and then return. So we've already picked up oh, about 60,000 gold from this trip, plus all the items that we have, so doing quite well in that regard. And that's after paying to have him brought back to life. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and lay down Void's Beacon. I don't want to waste a divine intervention on just one death. And actually, while I'm in town anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sell this loot that we acquired. It's closed. Ah, uh, shoot, we're just late. Huh, okay, well. Why don't I go ahead and dump some of it in this chest here then? That should at least let us keep looting a few more things. Some stuff doesn't need to be kept. And then we'll do the same thing on this other side. So eventually these chests will eat our items when they respawn, but uh, I, I think that we can live with that risk for a day here. Didn't need to throw 
that way. No room. Okay, that should be good. Now we'll go ahead and recall back into Titan Stronghold. Now, we have already achieved our main objective here, but uh, the loot and the money is good enough that I do want to finish it out for stuff like this. 22 spell points on gloves is uh, pretty great. Is it as good as regenerating spell points? Probably not, but I'll go ahead and... Hmm. That's a quandary. Eh, he doesn't have many hit points anyway, so... There we go. Figures. This is weak. It might be useful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick check to make sure nothing's broken. With our resistances as high as they are, most elemental spells aren't going to hit us for more than, I think, 12% of their maximum damage. So I, I'm not really concerned with that anymore. As you can see, our vampiric weapons are more than enough to keep us fully healed against dragons. Might be useful. She needed a belt anyway. Multiple blood titans here, so that's uh, that's a pretty pretty mean fight. But honestly, I would still rather fight multiple Blood Titans than Queens of the Dead. Okay, looks like there's just one last pathway to explore. That is the elf. I have no idea what that means, but he says it fairly often. I think I got it. I think only when he gets a kill in melee combat. Figures. This is weak. No room. No room. Uh, 
Oh. Sorry. I can't yep, there's her. no room. Fix. Hey, the place is filled. I made that noise, and yet, because she already has a Arms Master plus 12 item, it's not actually useful for her. Um, no There's reason no not to out. not to give it to Paladin, though. Arms Master doesn't benefit him nearly as much, but, you know, that's still 8 speed recovery on his melee weapon, since he's the only person in the party that isn't at the minimum value. And also an extra 8 to hit, so, yeah, that's, that's still a good pickup. This, I believe, should be the last pathway we haven't explored yet. A couple blood titans here. That's actually not a great situation, so I'm going to lay down a beacon here just so that I can recall quickly. But uh, I'm going to... You know, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and cast a Divine Intervention. I think now is a good time for that. That was a particularly nasty little encounter there. Multiple blood titans and coming in from a flanking position. Not that that gives any sort of a numerical bonus. Now, it says that there's another enemy here, but I'm not seeing it. Huh, apparently it's... Uh, Glitched, maybe? Like, looking at the minimap, it looks like a titan is glitched into this pillar here. Which is preventing us from moving, but... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to shoot it with arrows until it dies. This might take a minute, though. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, it works, so... I have no idea what just shot us, but I'm gonna go ahead and just cast divine intervention again. I think I got it. Figures. Hey, the place no, is there's no room. Running out of room again, but uh, we're close enough to the end here that I, I don't want to head back to town just to. Okay. There's no room. Uh, probably rearrange things. We'll a find a use bit. for this. Mm. Where will I no put room. that? There's no room. No room. No, no space. room. Okay, it might be useful. That worked. Hey, the place is no filled. Room. Room. Rubbish. I think I got it. This is weak. Figures. This is weak. So, I'm definitely going to want to take this. This is the highest tier of crossbow, so that's this is weak. definitely going to be an upgrade. Figures. Definitely want those. No room. There's no room. Hey, the place Where is will no I room. put that? Where will I put that? I can't fix that. No space. Good as new. There's no room. Where will I put no room. that? We don't necessarily need that anymore. Let's go ahead. Nope, there's no room. Good as repair new. Repair a no couple room. of items here. Okay. Now. There has to be at least, okay, it looks like two more titans. I believe that... 
I wonder if they don't have the limit on the number of times this can be cast in Might and Magic 7. I guess the limit is that it ages you 10 years per casting, but uh, there are ways to eliminate that penalty. I probably should have bought some potions of rejuvenation the last time I saw them in the Celeste Alchemy Shop. And that should be the last enemy in the Titan Stronghold. So let's just see if there's Got anything it. good here. This is weak. There's no room. No room. There's no room. No space. No room. No room. We go ahead and swap the boots for those. Got it. Now, we've already had a potion of pure personality on the paladin, so that doesn't help. I'll go ahead and drink the potion of intellect of the sorcerer, though. Figures. Uh, already has a ring of air magic, so that's just Figures. sellable. <laughs> Already have a disarmed 16 item, so that's sellable. This is weak. Oh, Lloyd's Beacon. Uh, this is weak. At this point, that's just a, a sellable item. That composite bow would be nope. a nice upgrade for somebody. And hey, the place is filled. That, I think, is about as much loot as we are going to be able to manage to get out of here with. So, with that, I will town portal back to Harmondale, and I think that I'm going to call this episode a wrap. Thanks for watching, and we will pick up next time with the remaining Celeste quests.